All right, so the old acorn squash. Yep, and it's pretty hard. So you gotta put a knife on top all the way through. Do a little slice there. There you go. You wanna get wedges. Acorns just one of the easiest ways to just, just use wedges out of it. You can literally scoop it out ahead of time. I'm going through. Knife on top. Okay. The old seeds come out. Get those seeds out. And then we'll have our wedges. I used to do a recipe where I had uh, wedges and I did it with like a cranberry glaze. Uh, this is going to be with sage, butter, brown, brown sugar. Um, the texture like on acorn squash is similar to butternut squash. It's not too soft, so it's pretty dense, but I think it's actually a little, just a little bit softer than a butternut. So we got all our nice wedges. We're going to place those right there on a sheet tray. Parchment or foil will work. Just like that. Scoop out. And if you have a little part like the stem right here, so that stem part just comes off. Hand on top, always hand on top, because you will, otherwise you don't want to slip and you got trouble. So we're going to cut all the wedges there. We got our oven preheated to 375. So you can see, we got our uh, butter, our um, acorn squash all on a tray. One, you know, parchment paper or foil on the on the bottom. We're going to get ready to make our other stuff that's going to be put on top of our old squash. There we go. It's pretty simple right now. Season with salt and pepper. All around, start high and work your way up. A little salt and pepper all around. There you go. We're going to get ready to put these in the oven. I'm not adding oil on the top of this because we're going to have like butter with this, so we're good to go. And there's our salt and pepper on our acorn squash. We got our oven on 375. We are going to put these in. We're going to check them after 25 minutes. So we just got some sage leaves. I uh, washed them out. Uh, I got these in the backyard, but you can buy sage leaves at, uh, if you can't get them at a farmer's market or a local market, you can get them at a supermarket. Come in the plastic packages, fresh sage. One of the great things in the fall time and winter. Uh, really hearty herb. So I'm going to give you like 10 to 15 leaves. Sometimes you have the really big sage. Uh, these are small leaves, and I'm going to slice them uh, horizontal-wise, what we call a chiffonade of sage, just like that. Keep your finger out of the way. You'll be good. So, slicing all the way through. We're going to have four ounces of butter, too, I got in the pot already. Our squash is, acorn squash is still in the oven. So that's going. So there's our sage all sliced up. That's going to go in with your four ounces of butter in a pot. Also, we got our sage. We also have, keeping this simple, a quarter cup of brown sugar. A quarter cup of brown sugar is in there. I like to use the um, light browns. Good. And there we go. Also, surprise you, I got some rosemary. So wash that out like a small spig of rosemary. Basically, it's gonna make about half a tablespoon worth of chopped rosemary. We're gonna chop it fine. So you're gonna take those rosemary leaves off the stem, right? And bunch it up. And you wanna make sure there's no large stems in there because that's not what we want. And you're gonna start chopping it. You're gonna get it really, really fine. So back and forth. And I just back on a knife to scrape that. Get it really, really fine back and forth. Like I said, this is about literally a quarter to a half a tablespoon worth um, when you get when it all gets down to being chopped. All right, just like that. Fine chopped rosemary. Put that right there in with your sage and your brown sugar and your butter. There we go. All that's in there. In about 25 minutes, we're gonna take out our squash and let's check it out. We have, we wanna see if we got a little less resistance. Okay, so I'm almost knife tender here. Uh, after like 25 minutes, I still have my oven on. 
uh, we're going to start our topping and then this is going to go back in the oven. Okay, so let's get the topping going. Butter, uh, we have our, our brown sugar, butter, sage, rosemary in a pot. We're going to bring that on a medium heat till we start melting it. If you want it on a medium heat, you don't want it to go too fast. So if it's going a little too fast, just slow it down. We want it to slowly melt the butter in here. Slowly melt it with our brown sugar. When you get three quarters of your butter melted, you can turn off the heat. We're kind of emulsifying this or mixing the butter in with the sugar. And my heat is off. I just continue to mis whisk it around with a spoon uh, until all that solid butter is melted. Just like that. There we go. Just taste of that butter and rosemary and sage. So now it's spoon over time. Yes. So spoon over time. Trying to get it covering. It's, it's going to fall off on the tray. That's okay because we're going to go back in the oven. So we want to just spoon all of it on there. What's going to happen? You're going to eat this with this. You're going to take, you know, scoop off the skins when you eat it. That's just the way a lot of time acorn squash is. We're okay. And we keep going. All of that spooned right on top. Okay. And then I do a little basting. So I kind of baste on. The pieces just like that there we go and scene okay this is gonna go back in get every last drop of that in there very important okay so it's gonna go back in the oven for 15 minutes in the oven 15 minutes right. it's been another 15 minutes we're gonna take out our squash smells great Smelling really good. So what happens is, you can see our, our butters kind and our sugars kind of caramelized a bit on the bottom. And we're going to make sure our squash is nice and soft. That's what you want. That's it. So really cool there. It's got to not give you much resistance. So if it's not, if it's giving you a little too much resistance, then put it back in the oven. If it's getting too brown, you can turn down the heat to like 300 and let it cook more slowly to get... Uh, make sure it's nice and soft, but we're at this point. We're good to go Whenever you present this For your dinner or you can put it into like a you know a container and let it cool down and have it for later But if you're gonna put this on a platter uh, For your meal, it's up to you um, Obviously your guests or whoever's eating gonna scoop out um, From the skin I think I'm gonna fit them all in here, but the key thing is the juice. Look at all this juice. So this juice has to go right back on top. Okay, that's the deal. Just like that. There you go. And then it's ready to serve. See that? Yep. 